Hey everyone, I'm Claire, I'm in the BA Test Kitchen, and today, it's alive. <sighs> the easiest show in history, no offense, Brad. Oh. Should I say what I'm making? <laughs> when is, oh, baby, baby, got a baby in the test kitchen. Hey everyone, it's Claire, I'm in the BA Test Kitchen, and today, I'm gonna make sourdough crepes while holding a baby. You're so cute, right? Can you say hi? Can you say it's alive? Can you say it's alive? It's alive. Can you can you wave to Dada? This is not. I just want to say this is not my child. This is not my child. Aww. This is Mike's child. Can I get to hold her? Yum. She's eating an orange because we're making crepe Suzette. Well, that's not really why, but she's just eating an orange. <gasps> yum, yum, yum. I feel like Dan's gonna realize how much happier I am with a baby around. He's gonna like come in with a baby every day, his own baby. Baby, baby in the background. What's, what's she eating? An orange? Might interrupt in here. She no, it's okay. This is Mike. Mike does sound. And this is Thea. Hello. Is that yum yum? Is that yum yum? Orange. Is that yum yum? The orange? Can I do this whole shoot holding a baby in one arm? Sure. Can I see if it's possible? Go. Come here. Come here. Is that yum? Hi. You found your next, yum. Uh, your next editor. Yeah, there you go. I'll help you. Thank you. <laughs> yum. This is the, I'm having so much more fun doing this show. It's alive. What a great show. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that there's oranges in Crepe Suzette? And that's what we're making? Did you plan that? We're going to make some, some sourdough crepes. And then we're going to flambe them. Flambe just means we're going to set it on fire. Which you should not do until you're much older and you have adult supervision. It's gonna be so fun, and it's orange flavored, and this is the happiest day ever. <laughs> Can you say hi to Hunzi? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. There you go. There you go. Hi. Are you ready for your close up? The starter. Oh, the starter. We're gonna wait for the starter to thaw out. So the starter was frozen. I stole it from Brad's freezer. Sorry, Brad, I'll replace it. Yum. 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 So today I'm gonna make the, the crepe batter, which is super simple. And then we're gonna let it sit overnight. The sourdough starter is going to give it some nice flavor. And then tomorrow we're gonna make crepes. You can come back tomorrow. You can come back tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby. Baby hands. All right, I'm gonna. I gotta make this crepe out. I'm gonna give you back to your dada. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tickle tickle. Oh. I just wanna do every show holding a baby. <sighs> anyway, it just like really brings up my mood, you know. Basically, I'm having better time on the first five minutes of It's Alive than on four days of gourmet makes. Okay, let me, sorry, let me focus. That was fun, though. How do I sound? What, uh, I stole a starter from Brad's freezer, but he's in LA, so I don't think he cares. He didn't write back to my text message. It's fine, Brad. Gabby and I just did some breaking and entering into Brad's freezer, which he keeps locked but the freezer above it is unlocked, and so we could remove the rack separating the two freezers and reach down, and I found the frozen starter. Wait, show me. You wanna show you? Yeah, okay, I'll show you what we did. Should I bring the starter and show where it was? Okay. It's <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, this is what we did. I didn't even know that Brad had this hidden freezer. He's so sneaky, he always hides stuff. He's like a little squirrel. Okay, so Brad's secret freezer is in here. Gabby, Gabby told me about it. And his freezer is this one, which is locked, but then this freezer is open. So Gabby and I lifted this up and I reached down and this was like buried like underneath here. And I can read Brad's handwriting. That says sourdough starter, SD starter. I think it's from Sour Donuts. It might be from, 
making perfect pizza, actually. Because I, I guess what I should say is I forgot to bring it from home. It's okay, everything's gonna be fine. Right, Hunzi? How does, how does Brad do the show? What does he say? I haven't watched it so live in a while. What's his intro? Does he have an intro? He just starts talking, huh? I love this show because I can do whatever I want. Um, all right. Today, on It's Alive, I'm already having the best time. So I'm making a basic crepe batter, which is similar to a pancake batter. It's a little bit thinner. It's just eggs, flour, a little sugar and salt, milk, and butter. And to it, I'm going to add some sourdough starter. This has been in the freezer, so it needs to thaw a little bit. And it's not really going to add leavening. It will just add some, a little bit of a tangy flavor and some complexity. So we're gonna make that today, let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow we come back, make the crepes, and then make the crepe Suzette. I don't know, I say crepes because like that, or crepe, because that's sort of the French pronunciation, but most people just say crepes. Crepes is fine. The key to delicious crepes, or one of the key, is browning butter and then you, you stir it into the batter at the very end. Usually instructions for browning butter say to... <gasps> Thea, we're browning butter. We're browning butter. Bye, Are you Claire. going bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 Come oh. back soon. Come back Maybe soon. Come back soon. I think she said bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Oh. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think people get a little bit shy when they're browning butter because often the instructions will say to be careful so you don't burn it because it can burn easily. But I think generally that makes people work over a lower heat so it can take a long time. So when I brown butter, I like to melt it over pretty high heat so all the moisture, the water in there comes to a boil and starts to bubble and then I'll turn it down. So, you know, browning butter takes maybe five or so minutes on the stove depending on the size of your pot and the quantity of butter that you're using. Oh, I love that I can like say stuff. Just like talk. Dan's not yelling at me. I'm not being called like insolent or insubordinate for refusing to do certain things. This show, I have not been living right. So once I see that the foam has turned golden and there's free floating bits that have been browned, I'm gonna take it off the heat. They will continue to darken once they sit. And let it cool briefly while I mix everything else. One thing I like about crepe batter is it's, you don't have to use, you don't have to be so precise about measurement because it's pretty forgiving. So I'm gonna get my flour in the bowl. I'm gonna start with three quarters of a cup. So I know that I'm doing something I tell people not to do, which is spooning directly into the flour, but I try to make sure it's fluffy. And now a pinch of salt. I'm, I'm unprepared, sorry. I'm gonna grab salt. No, it's really, it's alive. <laughs> I was told to do no preparations. I usually just steal salt from Andy and Chris, except for I can't find it. It feels very chaotic, but I guess that's a good thing. I guess I'm a little scared. Wait, you don't have like boxes of snacks in front of you. What's I know. The, what, what is this? I know. <laughs> not the usual thing. I mean, not that I prepare for <laughs> gourmet makes, but I did no preparation for this, including well, forgetting my starter at home. So I had to steal starter that's from fine. Brad's that's the same freezer. As Brad. <laughs> yeah. Brad? I was just sort of pitching this idea to Hunzi, and we were like, this sounds great. And then I was sort of like, but crepes aren't yeasted. So mm. I don't know even about this idea at all, but it's just going to taste better. They are now. So, do, you, do you have a hunting knife on you right now? Or like no. some like power tools or? Yeah, no. What is it called? Compound bow or whatever <laughs> he was talking about. I don't have a beanie. No. I don't have a leather apron. No. It's a nice change of pace. Yeah, especially since we're taking time. Today I'm actually shooting Gourmet Makes. Oh. And we're just doing this for a little while. Oh, and you're like, how long can I do this for? <laughs> how long can we draw this out? Mm -hmm. We were supposed to start at 2. Oh. It's 3.03. So, no one said anything so far. Okay, so I need 3 quarters of a cup of milk. Measure from eye level. And then three large eggs. I just, I keep doing this because I'm getting shocked every time I touch anything metal because it's so dry. So eggs go into the center. I made a little well in the middle of this flour. I'm gonna add a half a cup of the starter. This starter smells super sour and, but also really floral, it smells good. Ooh, 
This is ripe. I'm just gonna start whisking and blend this all together and slowly add the milk until it reaches the consistency that I'm looking for. I think this actually looks like a very nice consistency. Um, and now I'm gonna stream in the brown butter. You can make crepe batter in the blender, which I do a lot at home, but I kinda like the process of doing it by hand, so you have just more control over the consistency. This looks really nice. It's smooth, pourable, still has a little body. I'm going to leave this at room, I'm gonna cover it, leave it at room temperature until I leave this evening. So I'll be off for a couple hours. I'll put it in the fridge and then tomorrow we'll come back, correct the consistency with a little bit of extra milk if needed, if it needs to thin out. And then we'll make crepes and make crepes with Ed and it's such a fun dessert and so delicious and really easy and fun and dramatic. Um, this is the most fun I've had in so long. I love this show. Can I do more? Let's switch permanently. Well, Brad and I have been talking about croissants for a long time. And then there's so many variations of croissants. We could do Queen Amon, sourdough Queen Amon. We could do like a million other bread episodes. There's so much more bread to do. Any, anything, anything you want, Hunzi. What sounds good? And drive stick shift. Drive, drive five <laughs> speed. Um, what is this five speed? There's five. Stick shift. <laughs> Manual. No, I really don't want to do that episode. I don't like driving. It's not my thing. It stresses me out. Cars are dangerous. People are maniacs. And then Brad yelling at me? Oh, that sounds so awful. Is his car manual? Where are we even gonna get the car? Chris and Chris. There's no way I'm driving Chris's car. Are you kidding? I would screw it up. There's something about the clutch. What do I, what happens to the clutch? What happens to the, Kevin, what happens to the clutch in a car with manual transmission? If you don't know how to drive stick. It, 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 uh, gets burned out. it burns out, that's what it, okay. It I would burn out, it melts. I know where my value add is in car rides. I pack snacks, I'm the snack person and I navigate and I'm an excellent navigator because I've had to become one because I don't really drive. <laughs> I mean, I know how do I have a driver's license. I just don't like it. In this city, it's crazy. Oh, oh, yes, and playlist. I'm excellent as a DJ. Okay, I just wanna point out this consistency. It looks very nice. Um, I could strain it, but I'm not going to because I don't wanna strain out any of the brown butter bits. This is gonna be so delicious. I'm so excited. It's such a good dessert. So, I'm just gonna let this sit out so that the starter has a chance to enliven and do its thing. And then I'll pop it in the fridge and tomorrow we make crepes. Don't make me, don't make me get behind the wheel. No one wants to see that. Brad is gonna freak out. It'll be the end of our relationship. And I can't, I cannot be the person who ruins Chris's car. Are you kidding? It's Chris's car. I'll do going places, I'll be in the passenger seat. Brad obviously loves to drive. Why would he not drive? He would drive and I'll do snacks, radio, and navigation. I'm good at those things. <laughs> Just having my coffee. Wrote down the recipe. This is how this show works. Oh my god. I'm gonna just drink my coffee. I'm allowed to have the coffee in the shot, right? Because they're always telling me to move in the gourmet mix. All right. Good morning. I'm very excited. I'm gonna grab the crepe batter that I put in the fridge before I went home last night. Ah, oh, I have the worst static shock. Ah! This will come to room temperature and I'm gonna correct the texture a little bit. I can add more milk if necessary to thin it out. So I'm gonna leave this here and get everything else I need, including nonstick skillet, butter for the crepes, and then all the other ingredients for the Suzette. Suzette is like a caramelized orange sauce that you flambe with a little Grand Marnier and cognac. It's super delicious. And then vanilla ice cream on top. I'm gonna to add a little vanilla bean just because I like that. Um, and it goes so well with citrus. Uh, yeah, it's really bad. All right, I'm just gonna roll myself a couple of these. Ah, no, oh, <laughs> Dan, Dan. No, Dan, Dan. Don't try to make me have fun. Yeah, thank you, Hunzi. It's such a more humane show. You're not trying to make me fail. Where is 
Gabby, hide the vanilla beans. Aha. Oh my God, you guys, this is so sad. Sola, this is a tragedy. This is really upsetting. Oh you my know, God. You know, Can we rehydrate them? Steam them or something? You know, maybe we just grind into a powder? No, yeah, we could. Wow, that's the most, wow. I know. Wow. I, I guess we can grind can them. All right. So Vanilla sad. Vanilla is, is going extinct. We have to go. I want to do, I want to go on a trip to. I know, to Tonka. It's in yes. Tonka. Oh my God. I know. Tell them and they'll set it up. Come can on, we, can Vanilla we go people. To the, can we go to where they grow the vanilla in Tonka? Because I really, really want to go. Cool. Hunzi can make it happen. It's, it's alive. It's fermented. It, yeah, totally. It totally works. And Brad doesn't need to go. Brad doesn't need to go. He won't appreciate yeah, it. Brad already went to Hawaii. He's been to other places. When is it our turn, Sola? <laughs> oh, this is so sad. I can't show this. It's too depressing. I'm gonna grind this later into vanilla powder. I just can't do all this right now. While can I? I was gonna say, can I? Can I point something out that I'm so concerned about? Say while you're hosting this show, you a power of attorney over a fermentation station. Really? Oh my god. I uh, I've been deputized. I know Brad's in California. What if there was a fermentation emergency? Can I just say I am so concerned about this. This these egg yolks have been sitting here for almost a year. I just don't feel like that's a good idea. I think it's time to, to dispose of that. Rabbit gets so mad at me. So it separated a little bit overnight. I'm just gonna whisk it, get it all back together. I'm gonna give it a smell and see if it has that kind of starter sour smell. Mm. I think it's gonna make such a delicious crepe because it's just gonna give it so much more complexity of flavor you know with crepes you want them really thin so you need a pretty liquid batter but this looks great I don't think I need to add any more milk um, with flipping crepes I'm not such a skilled like skillet flipper generally I just use my fingers and I kind of quickly just give it a little turn it shouldn't be an issue with using nonstick I have no idea how they make crepes without a nonstick pan so when you add crepe batter to a pan you want to angle the pan and then instead of going in the center of the pan you want to kind of place the batter in a little bit off to the side so that it swirls around. I might have to add a little more, but you want it really thin. All right. The first one is like the, you know, it's a crepe star pancake. It's, and the first pancake is always a little bit wonky. I'll let the edges get kind of crispy. I, what I like about crepes is that little lacy edge, like over there. This one doesn't have so much browning on the bottom. Maybe I can just flip it. Let's see. Should I just try it? I feel like it's live. We take risks. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. So this one is a little blonde. I like it to get more color on it. So for the next ones, I'll make sure there's a higher heat. You want to cook crepes pretty fast. It's not brown enough, but I'm making crepes. Oh my God, there's Brad. Hi, Brad. You don't care. You're not paying attention to us at all. Do you think he's gonna notice that this is happening? No? Just like, oh, Hunzi. All right, I'm gonna try a flip. Doing it's a lot. Uh huh. Sure sucks. <laughs> any uh? Doing? Alive. Any tips? It's sourdough crepes. Oh, really cool. Right? I love a good crepe. What's the dish? What are we doing here? Crepe Suzette. We get to flambe. Oh. You want to hang out? No. You know I don't want to steal your thunder. You know. No. So you enjoy this time with Hunzi. Okay. So far it's been great. Um. And so, I've been here a couple days. I gotta go upstairs. What's this? Hey Brad, hold on, ready, hold on, be quiet, because I gotta, I gotta focus. Oh, I messed up, because you were here. <laughs> it's okay, you can just unfold it. These are getting a little thick, actually. I think I'm adding too much batter. I like it a, a, a thicker than you. Uh. Here, let me help you. <laughs> I have no feeling in my fingers. Oh my oh. God, you really don't. That's hot, Brad. 
All right, this one maybe we eat, because first of all, it's too this thick, and me. second of all, yeah, yeah, this one's for you. Yeah, Here, grab a plate, this one's What's for you. What's the substance? This one's for you. No, I don't want that. What do you mean? Oh, oh, hold on. Dump that out. Like, what's their, what's their like, cake? What, I don't under, it's a dessert. What, it's a dessert. I don't understand what you're asking. Could we ever go savory with one of these? Let's yeah, but, but I'm not gonna. I mean, you could. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Well, this is fun, man. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing over here? Anything? Where'd you get the sourdough? But what'd you do to uh, make it sour? How'd you make the cold? How'd you get the cold? Brad, remember when I texted you yesterday and I was like, do you have any frozen sourdough starter? Yeah. And you texted back, no. And then I didn't have any. But actually you did, and we went and found it in, in your in your hidden freezer. There's <laughs> only two people that have keys to that freezer. Um, no, we, we, we didn't have a key. key. How'd you get it? We reached our we arms under the, under the rack. You struck it? I'm calling security. I was going to Sorry. Go. I was going to Where go. else did you steal? No, that was it. That was it. All right, here's so this one looks good. Yeah, no, but I wasn't sure. I forgot I had that frozen. Oh stuff. my god! I know. Yeah, you kind of lied to me. No, I forgot, and I was like in an airport. I think that that was from the pizza. I knew it was from pizza. Yeah. And did you get a little boobell? It got a little bubbly. You know, crepes aren't usually this style of crepe is not yeasted, so really it's just a way of using up excess starter, and it gives it like a cool sour it's tangy relaxing. flavor. I love what you're wearing. Thanks. I'm gonna go get the dulce de leche. Okay. I know that. This is dulce no. de leche right here. To I'm eat, a, to each his own. She's got a tattoo on her back. In Argentina, in Argentina, like my first tattoo will be dulce de leche. Right in Argentina, we have places that all they sell is dulce de leche. Uh -huh. right. She gets it all together. All right, I'm gonna flip. Ready? Oh, mother. <laughs> Brad. Brad, you were looking at it, made me nervous. So, all right, there's all my crepes. Crepes, crepes, I know I'm saying multiple things. You want this little guy? Yeah. You don't gotta say yes. Hey, can I taste it? I haven't even tasted the batter, which is probably a huge mistake. It's a little fluffier, you know, because of the starter. Considering I didn't test this recipe and I didn't really plan for this, it's going pretty well so far. Yeah, welcome to the club, because <laughs> I planned very thoroughly. You know what, this would be good though. You could very easily, at this point, take the savory. Totally. That's what's nice about crepes. It's one recipe and you can go sweet or savory. Oh, this would be so good. Thanks. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it is fun. I'm enjoying I'm it. This, fun. this show is so fun. Isn't it fun? Can we do it together again more? Yeah, we're going to make... I know. What's, what's happening with that, Brad? We're going to make croissants. Claire, how do you say that French pastry? If, I you say, were, if you were ordering it at a nice bakery. Here. Yeah. A croissant. Good for you. Thank you. If I, I was in, yeah. in France, I would try to say it how they Right, right, but right. But here, I, I, I kind of judge people when they're like, I know. oh, hey, blah, 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 I have this, that, a little strawberry jam, and can I just get a croissant? <laughs> you know. They say crepe in French. Crepe. Huh? Crepe. Crepe? They just yeah. say crepe. Yeah. With, with, like, with, with like a French accent. Like if you were, how, would they, how do they say it in France? I don't want to say it with my French accent because it's Come too on, embarrassing. Come on, you're good. No, I'm not good. I'm terrible. Claire, you're fluent. Oh, I'm not. Brad, don't start that rumor. With a little exercise, no one's even watching. No, it's not. Are you kidding? The show's on YouTube. It's on the YouTube. <laughs> Say it, please. No, no, do it I for can't. The kids. I can't do it on the spot. I'll do it later when I'm not feeling on the spot. All right, I respect that. I feel that way sometimes too. Oh, yeah, Especially right? about my Randy Savage impersonation. <laughs> Chris is always trying to get me to do it on camera, and I clam up. <laughs> right? Say, I don't. Say croissant is Randy Savage. Oh my God, that's gonna take a little practice. I don't even know where to begin. No, that's ridiculous. You see, I cram up. I know, I get shy. I, I get, get shy I get, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. a little shy by nature. I am sometimes. Uh huh. Uh huh. But when you're. I was a kid, actually, I was. Brad, I actually say that to someone and they can believe me. Yes, you are shy. I am shy. I'm a shy boy. Also, you're sensitive. I'm very sensitive. It has a heart. I do. Hey, I think we need a little bit more dulce de leche in there. Holy shit. our number 10 can. <laughs> <laughs> This right. is fun. Do you, I like want, do you want to know what I'm doing right now? Yeah, I gotta go do expenses. Ugh. Oh, that's they not fun. They keep kicking back my expense reports. Listen to this. Shit. If you're listening, who? <laughs> the lady who always kicks them back. Oh. Like they make me put. All right, and you have to fill in the memo. So you get a lift. It's a lift, right? Yeah. Where? Why is it a lift? Where'd you go? Okay, it's a lift to a business meeting, and then they kick it back. We need more. Deep, we need more information. 
I don't, do you want yeah. the address and like do you want do I need a doctor's note no, while I'm late? What like kind what kind of meeting who do you were meeting with? You know, like None of your business who I was meeting with. But I think that the point is that it is their business. So first I'll pivot to my pearl Suzette. I'm going to massage this into granulated sugar. And then the next step is working in the butter. In French, it's called beurre pommade. How do you say butter in French? Butter is beurre. How does Brad say butter in French? Brad says, what is it, beurre? beurre. <laughs> you know, I don't speak much French. I don't really speak that well English. But uh, boy, uh, it's fun to say butter in French. Beurre. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Or ooh la la. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. <gasps> Hi, Tyree. Guys, Tyree's here. Tyree's our master, our boom master when it comes to a coffee machine. Okay, this is the Grand Marnier. This is the cognac. This comes at the end. That's when we're gonna flambe. And for anyone that doesn't know, flambe it just means fl flame to flame in French, or fl flame depending on how you spell it. So the first step is to caramelize the crepes one at a time and then fold them up. Generally with crepes is that you see the crepes folded in, in half and then in half again, so they make little kind of fan-shaped packets. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. It's probably more than I need. Just a splash of orange juice. This mixture will caramelize rather quickly. So I'm gonna dip it in one side and then turn it over. So coat this side and then coat this side and then really let it caramelize on what was the first side. So like the top of all these crepes is the first side and that's always the nicer side. So I want that facing up. So it goes in half once and then in half again. And then that gets put over here. But like, look how delicious that looks with that caramel on the side there. It's gonna be so good. It goes in half once and half again. Okay. Can I just tell you, I didn't practice this. I basically only made it like once or twice. It's going so well. <laughs> okay, now I'm making the final sauce that will bathe the crepes. So I'm using basically everything else. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the orange juice, some of the lemon juice, and the Grand Marnier. This, I'm not flambeing it at this point a healthy pinch of the orange zest. And this is decor. obviously it's flavor, but it's also just decorative. And then another big scoop of burr. Okay, so in go the crepes. All right, so now I'm getting ready to flambe. So here's what we do when we flambe. Everyone stands back. I'm gonna turn up the heat. I have gas, which you need for this. Off the heat, I add the cognac. And then I tilt the skillet, and the whole thing should basically go up in flame. So I'm gonna add, and then I just dump it into the, just a little bit of it. And I just dump it into the, um, I dumped a little bit of the alcohol down there, but that's okay, to flambe. But doesn't this look good? That looks really good. All right, so that's our crepe Suzette, and I'm gonna go plate it. You're just in time, you have, your timing, Delaney, always, truly impeccable. Well, I wanted to get a coffee before we that meeting. Oh, we have that meeting. Ooh, okay, Hansi. What time is it? Ooh, okay. Do people know that I have a meeting? Because I didn't know that. Okay, so now I'm gonna plate it, sort of the traditional way. Actually, Delaney, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what do you need? Can you grab, there's some vanilla ice cream in that freezer behind Hansi. Yeah. So all of this caramel sauce is gonna go on top. Doesn't it, it looks so, what a good dessert this is. Yeah, exactly. Thank God that worked out. I wasn't really super confident. <laughs> I haven't made this in a long time. Yeah, it looks like you nailed it. <laughs> so this is a scoop of vanilla. Oh my God, clear. Looks good, right? That's the fanciest dessert. What a fun dessert, right? I know. I'm like, I like love it. The crisp is it. And like I say, Suzette is my Pilates teacher. Hi. For real. <laughs> no kidding. Brad. Yes. You want to try? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he never wants to try. Because <laughs> the crepes have Ooh, a nice savoriness. It's though. so good. If I do so, so myself. Mm, it's like delicious. Breakfast of champions. The pancakes. 
So I hate pancakes. Wait. No, I don't like pancakes either. So it's alive. <laughs> I don't like what? pancakes, but I like cream. I don't like pancakes. Yeah, same. Why not? I don't, I don't eat They're pancakes. They're gut bombs. Never. I never feel... Make, I, don't, I like the taste. They don't make me feel good. No. But the orange peel... Delicious yeah. and fun to make. Fun yeah. to make. Great, great texture. And a great way to use extra great starter. Texture from the sourdough starters yeah. and all your other... Sourdough. Pizza dough yeah. starters. Yeah, exactly. The starter makes the crips like more... So, just softer, more pliable, and right. a, a little tangy. Those have, they did have a little... Nice little lactic kind of ting mm -hmm. to it. That well, way to wrap it up in time. I know. All right, shut it down. Give it a bone appetite. I mean, I did, we're out of here. I did hey, for, forget about the meeting. And then you put a little, you dust it with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. That's some stoner right there. And it has to be, <laughs> and it has to be cold. That's Thank the way you put it. There you go. Thanks, all. all right, so I didn't strictly remember that I had this meeting, but since I do, <laughs> I, I should probably go to it. Um, can I? Fancy. Can I just say? Tell them the whole thing. It's alive is the most fun show. So much fun. I would like to do it so much more. Anytime, Claire. Really? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Maybe it's I think open we got to do some more sourdough stuff. And maybe some other stuff, Claire. Let's break out of just, you know, we don't want to be a one-trick pony. Definitely not. You know? Maybe. Everything we've done so far was like some type of bready pastry bread thing. Yeah. Let's do something wild. Let's have a little fun. Let's go diving for sea scallops. Yeah, yeah. I'm into that idea. Right? Yep. What else want, do we do? You want to go back to the Cape? we got to do some clam No, I don't want to go to the Cape. What? I'm not a huge Cape fan. All right, all right, we gotta end it there. Too many great whites? A lot of great whites. They're That's out true. there. That's Real true. sharky. They're <laughs> knee high water. They'll come in, they'll get you. Oh, you lose the leg. Big time. It's just trying to say, oh, hey, boom, leg gone. Okay, all right. Um, all right, wrap this baby up. Yeah, great job. Let's wrap it up. This was so much fun. It's, this is a dessert I absolutely wanna make at home. You could entertain with it, you can make all the crepes ahead of time caramelize them before the guests come over and then just do that last step of making the sauce and the flambe. Or I love or savory appetizer. Or, yeah, but not for the caramel. No, all right, it's right, the just caramel. let me wrap it up. All right, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and I love that it uses leftover sourdough starter because that's for anyone that keeps starter at home and feeds it once a week. That's a big problem. So, Brad, thanks for letting me stand in for you and do an episode of It's Alive. I had no choice. You have to wrap up uh, Gourmet Makes tomorrow. Maybe I'll oh, stop. Oh, yeah, me and me and old Morocco. Yeah. We're doing Andy's Mints. I know. Maybe I'll stop by for a, a little cameo and some moral support. Swing on by anytime you want. <laughs> All right. Well, do you like Andy's Mints? I love Andy's Mints. Right. Did, I, did, guys, did I tell you that it took me like three days to figure out what you were talking about? Andy's Mints? What are Andy's Mints? When did Andy make Andy's, mints? yeah, new brand. Yeah, yeah, I know. Golden Boy Mints. See, my head is Andes <laughs> in Spanish. Yeah. Andes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> La Cordillera de los I Andes. I said on camera that the Andes Mountains were in Europe. No. <laughs> I said that on camera. Brad. I know. Are they cutting that? Are they, you yeah. do need a fact check. But I gotta be, to be honest to your defense, I feel like here, they don't do geography really in depth in high school. No, they tell and you. I just, for some reason, my you. brain went Alps, Andes, and I just went up. Things happen. Sometimes things happen. That's where the Aconcagua is. We gotta wrap it up. That's what? Right. Oh, they're, they're just yeah. going to keep highest. talking. Oh, we're really the highest point? Yeah. You know we're the highest Anyway, mountain. thanks for watching. It's a lot. Yes. <laughs> this was really fun. <laughs> thanks, Brad. I would love to come back. Hey. And I love Crepe Suzette. And Hansi, please be kind with the graphics. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Wait, you bon oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Bon appetit. Give a thumbs up, Claire. Yeah. Wait, how do you do the, Brad, how do you do it? Usually okay. I'm all happy because, like I said, you know, I nailed an outro or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bon appetit. You, know, just how we're, you let look it a lot from the heart. with a thumbs up than I do. No, it's all in your head, Claire. Um, okay, that is pretty straightforward recipe for crepe Suzette. Thanks for watching. It's alive. I hope I get to come home, come home soon. I hope I get to come back soon and host again, or at least be Brad's sidekick. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit. All right, pretty soon, Hunzi. You're gonna be asking for me all the time, and it's alive. Yeah, do we have to swap back? Yeah. I know. I'm pretty sure Dan is more happy and maybe you're more happy. Everyone needs a little change of scenery every once in a while, you know? I couldn't be happier. I'm just gonna do this for a little while. I just like the bouncing. Just do an intro with, with her. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you gotta cut her out until you zoom out, and then I'm just like holding a baby. <laughs> Yum! I mean, Do I have to make? I, I, you know, we're good. Yum! Yum. Yeah. When are we going to Argentina? When are you, I, you, me, and Claire gonna go to Argentina? I wanna go in October. That'd be a lot of fun, right? For my fifty-first birthday. Let's go. When you're fifty-one, I don't wanna wait twenty years. Aww, <laughs> he's so cute. I mean, that's a whole... Would you think it'd be good with like chili, like hot? 